different stuff. Friday. Good morning. So, we've been absent. Um, we had bugger all on this week, to be fair. We did our market, did what I needed to do. Um, yeah, Lego's been a bit quiet. We've had about six orders every day, but little orders, just chugging along, chilling. Um, I pressed Tony this week to buy some more secondhand lots. Yeah, it's probably pressed been him. biggest haul, um, really. Found two that I really liked. One was little, and the only thing in it that I could really see was this. Sorry, the lighting for a shit. Eagle thing. And I could see the back of that, and that intrigued me. So anyway, so we put it on one lot that Tony found, or that I found and Tony liked, because it had the Atlantis, big Atlantis set in it. Yeah, and Tony city, needs city the little the little claws from the red guy. We've got the red guy, but no little little nippers. What'll probably happen, and I don't complain if yeah. it does happen, is I'll get this, I'll get the lot because that's due to come in next week. I'll get the lot, and it'll probably have the complete minifigure, and I'll still be left with one minifigure that doesn't have claws. Um, so we had a bidding war on that one, and I was swearing at the lady who was bidding against us through the phone, <laughs> telling her I was going to come, you know, do nasty, nasty things. I shouldn't stop because she put the bid up by like eighty-seven cents. It's like, yeah, it's a bit odd. Fucking get your life together. <laughs> um, and then the lot I wanted, which was the small lot, closed an hour after that one, and that lady had also decided to bid on it as well. So we almost oh, that's that doesn't go to money figure. It's just a thing. Um, yeah. So she bid it against us once and then stopped. Thank God for that. So we picked up this lot for a hundred and sixty dollars, yeah. and it's only little. Sorry, this <laughs> we were sitting in bed at seven thirty this morning going through it because we're weird. Um, so it's literally like two thirds of a shopping bag full. Not a lot at all, but the treasure. Fuck the treasure we found in this this morning. Yeah, Sorry, I'm a, on my chair, wheeling. This um, is a good one, this one. The treasure. What's he worth? 135 New Zealand. It's called the Mouth of Sauron. He comes in the set with this. We've got all the minifigures from this set. This one here is worth about 66, I think. This one here is worth about 95. Um, and then the two orcs, I think, were worth yeah. about um, 20 each. We've also got... Now, in this, I, he only had one wing on him in the photo, but his other wing was in there. Yeah. This one here was a real good So that's haul. the one I was intrigued in. So we actually figured out what it was. It's a Green Goblin from a 2003 set. This one specifically is from a poly bag, I believe. Um, and he's missing his mask. But I've already looked online. There's one guy who, that... Who you looked look? online? Well, you looked online. I looked online and found it. Um, and... There's one guy um, in New Zealand that has one, so I've already bought it this morning, um, which is great because the mask is the least, uh, the the bit that's worth the least. It was like six dollars, I think we paid for it used. Yeah, this thing here is worth about one thirty five, uh, which is absolutely crazy. Um, no cracks, mint condition. Yeah, it was real good. Uh, we've got Sp SpongeBob, <laughs> Mr. Krabs, and Patrick, and Patrick. Um, Mr. Krabs' head is a bit. Sorry, I'm looking at him. Yeah. Mr. Krabs' head looks well, like he's... I think it's the face, really, more so He's been anything. through the... Oh, focus. He's a bit bit worn. Um, yeah. But it's still... Cool. I reckon it's and my horse. Good. I like the horse. Yeah. Cool Lord of the Rings horse. I think that's worth a little bit. Yeah. And the, the bird, obviously. Um, Captain Jack Sparrow. We've got Barbosa, alive and dead. Yeah. So that was cool. That's just a smaller set. Yeah. And his blue feathers, because those are normally missing. Yeah. We got two of them in this lot too, yeah. which is good. So both guys got a got a feather, so we can complete the minifigure. Oh, this um, this weirdo. Yeah, that's worth a little bit as well. We're missing the cape. Um, it's the same cape as this, so we'll have a look at our own stuff. But yeah, this is a really good um, introduction to getting yeah. back into used stock. Um, we've we haven't done so much lately, mm. and we sort of sleep on a little bit. And this is probably an eye opener as as to why we should be doing it. Um, yeah, random dinosaur. Just, focusing on the on the new stuff so mm. uh yeah we've got another another lot coming in next week we'll try and get i think a lot every week and, and process it through our stuff so yeah i'm glad i pushed for that um yeah. but yeah so i haven't even turned my bloody computer on this morning to be fair we just got out here yeah so we're, we're, we're not going to vlog this week this is sort of a week off but we're going to um come back this we thought we'd talk about this so then we can actually start processing it today mm. and um and, and give you some yeah, results next week we'll, as to we'll what have, we we have the weekend off i've got my kids and mm. um we'll be far and then we get that. lucas again on wednesday mr four-year-old yeah. so 
big week ahead of us, but... Yeah, no, definitely back into the vlog next mm. week. So, yeah, we'll be back on Monday. Sunday evening. We've just got home from my dad's from dinner. Um, I'm rocking a coffee because I've had a bit of wine, so I'm just going to do some shipping. So I thought I'd better have a coffee. Um, good sales on trade me over the weekend as you can see so we've also got afterpay down here as well so people use um what is it afterpay and pay now plus paying and that's about so how much money did you put in oh probably about 50 bucks so we'll add 50 dollars to that plus not only that's that, quite funny they're both 279 but not Sorry. only that the um the sales on brooklyn will probably have yeah i was getting there Oh, I could probably see at a glance. Yeah. Yeah. Um, about 320. Okay, so not a bad weekend, to be fair. Very good weekend. Um, the mini figures that you'll see in the previous videos, that we picked up on Friday. I uh, got sent to us on Friday, sorry, and we opened and they had the Lord of the Rings and stuff in them. We actually listed... I'm still here. Five Lord of the Rings minifigures, the Eagle, the Lord of the Rings horse, and four Pirates of the Caribbean minifigures on Friday on Trade Me. And we actually sold all of the Lord of Ring Lord of the Rings minifigures, the horse and the Eagle yesterday. So that's where a chunk of that comes from because one person bought three Lord of the Rings minifigures for two eighty. We did a bulk bulk deal for him. Yeah, it's a pretty pretty big sale to go straight out mm. all in one go, which is really good. Um, and it's good that it's going to one person. Uh, then maybe they'll be able to add to their collection, like um, they'll have something going on. Um, it was a good one, actually, because we sold the three minifigures, and then I emailed him afterwards, and I said, hey, look, we've actually got the eagle from that set as well. Are you interested? Um, and the eagle's for sale for thirty seven fifty. And he said, oh, would you be interested in doing me a bit of a discount? As soon as I bought a few, and I thought, hey, why not? You know, And I did the sale off Trade Me, so... Um, I sold the Eagle Tom for 30 bucks. So um, there's no fees, obviously, because it's yeah, off-trading. So, potato, potato. It was, it was, yeah. Uh, yeah, it was, a, it was a really good weekend, and that's it. To have those put in, we bought the lot for 160 and then had the sale, and we sold, I think, $420 worth of minifigures out of that lot, specifically, in 24 hours, yeah. so 48 hours. Because um, we know, sold the SpongeBob ones that morning. Really good, I can't yeah. complain with that. No, so that's cool. Um, so we've got another lot arriving sometime this week. Yeah. And then we bought another lot last night, yep. secondhand stuff. So that should be arriving maybe next week. And then we're looking at another lot tonight that the auction's due to finish. Yeah, try to load up on those used stuff yeah. and, and actually get the ball rolling there. Because I think that's where um, we have a lot of our mini yeah. figures come in. And... I haven't walked around there in a, in a while because I don't see it anymore because it's not next to my desk anymore. But around here, in my used section, so I actually sorted, I don't know if you remember, there was another one of those. And I actually sorted it uh, last week, week four. Um, so that's down. So that's the used lot I've got. It's just those two bins. Um, I don't like that one. That's Tony's one to sort because it's all discoloured and yuck. So I've only got that one to do. And I've already stolen all the mini figures out of it. Because that's like, what, a year old, if not more, that lot? Yeah, it's quite old. Oh, side, side note. This is Tony's new fucking project. <laughs> you see that? massive tv so we have i think three broken tvs in my walk-in wardrobe right now in my bedroom yay me to go with those printers oh should i deal with um oh father's day shit's closing soon so father's day stuff down there um but yeah so tomorrow we're gonna do trade me shipping tonight tomorrow i'll do brick link shipping in the morning and then uh straight into market stuff so, um, Tony's just getting the mini figures we sold from Trade Me. Yep. Yeah, and, there's, and then, yeah, Bricklink. It's easy to sort of do one tonight, so we've not got so many things to deal mm. with in the morning. Um, fine with Monday mornings, the shipping sort of... Monday's always a really busy day. The computer doesn't operate as fast as well. But yeah, I'm going to drink my coffee and crack into my work. But yeah, I'll touch base tomorrow when I'm doing my market stuff, I think. Morning. 
Monday morning. So we did quite a bit of shipping last night. Um, it's all trade me. I've just made a coffee and come out to Tony picked all ready some orders. Cool. <laughs> just organising myself. Yeah. So uh, there's still about five. I'm sort of going smallest to largest. That's what I tend to do with Bricklink orders. So then I can um, get through as much as possible as fast as possible. Um, obviously, it leaves the big ones at the end, which is quite stressful. <laughs> but, but it's okay. Yeah. No, lots of. Uh, Lots on Bricklink over the weekend. From last night's vlog, I think we sold uh, another another order on Bricklink, so that was cool. Um, good weekend. I think the, the big takeaway from the weekend was obviously what we said, the uh, Lord of the Rings figures um, going, being such high value. Um, just having a little examination on the prices of the Lord of the Rings um, figures. It looks like a couple of them are probably, because we go by a six month average, um, or, or a new average, depending on what it is. Um, but some people list minifigures at atrocious prices. I think one of the minifigures was for sale in America for three hundred and sixty odd dollars New Zealand. Um, yeah. And we sold that minifigure. I think that was the mouth of Sauron for one hundred and twenty. But what happens is with that outlier, it brings up the average, the mi the middle number. So um, maybe something to to watch for when when looking at minifigures. Um, we sold it still for the average price, which which is all good. I think it's because it's so hard to get those mini figures. There's not many for sale at all, um, so pretty much people are prepared to pay for what you want, really. Um, but yeah, no, it's a it's a funny one. Some some people on Bricklink, I'm not sure why whether they uh, do it in error or they are trying to manipulate the market or whatever, but they do it at extremely um, above average pricing so i don't know maybe uh anyone else has thoughts about that drop it in the comments below and um you know so maybe someone maybe might be able to fill us in on how they or why they do that sort of thing because it, it's it's to such an extreme i could understand wanting a little bit more for your for your lego than, than retail or whatever um and wanting to hold on to it and slowly sell it but some of mm. their prices are such extreme jumps out of the ordinary i'm not sure why that yeah is. selling a used one for like twice as much as a new one sometimes and it's just like yeah, well, that doesn't it, make sense to me yeah yeah so yeah i don't know hmm. but yeah no it's a good weekend mm. um just going to get into Bricklink, um and then we're going to start i'm going to part out a few sets this morning um we got another harry potter on the weekend i've already parted out two of them so i'm going to part this one out quickly and add it to these pieces because this is for philippa's market um, so I'm going to do this probably first up, um, just a lot of reconciling no, the jaws. No, first up, what are you going to do after Bricklink? Oh yeah, and I've got to do the minifigures. He's got to check over my yeah, second. Yeah, that'll only take me two minutes. My second hand minifigures. Um, and then the next set I'll probably do is this one here. I've got a couple of these. These have only just started coming into Bricklink to be able to part out, so we've been holding on to them for that. Um, but yeah, so that's a cool looking set, mm. friends one. So I'll get a couple of those in. And Dino and Spaceman. Yep, and these are both sets that we've had before. Dino and Spaceman. Spaceman, yeah. So that's cool. So that's, that's looking like my next day or two there. Um, we've got quite a few sets there for next week, which is cool. Mm. We've got a, a few used lots coming in too. So um, yeah, so lot, lots okay. to be happening at the moment, uh, which is really good. Yeah, so we'll crack on with shipping and then I'll touch base with you when I'm starting to do my market. Okay, uh, Monday about lunchtime. I'm gonna stop for lunch very shortly. Shipping took quite a while. Um, so I am just about to pull apart this bad boy. I've only got one of these. I had two last week, so that's why there's only one here now. Um, parted out two, they're already in the store. Many figures are over here, um, all those sorts of bits and pieces that we're going to put in our market. Um, so they're all ready to go. Um, but I'm going to pull apart this one. We got this at a good deal, so I'm going to pull apart this one and add that stock to that and put the other stock into the store. So about 640 something pieces, I think. Um, I haven't typed into Brick Store yet, but that's from memory. Um, so that's my first job. So I'll probably just sort this into colours and then stop for lunch. Alrighty, nothing really overly special here. Um, I just finished doing the Hogwarts set. $160 worth of parts. 
uh, everything's pretty much the same. I think there's only those that have probably sold over the weekend because I did this just last week. Um, so, yep, uh, some new, a couple of new parts there, but mostly, um, mostly all reconciled. So I'm going to click go um, and get this into the shop. Upload file. Cool. Job done. All right, on to the next one. Uh, all right, so we've got ourselves a little bit of a conundrum here. As I said uh, probably a little bit earlier, this here is a new set into Bricklink. Um, this hasn't really, oh no, I don't think this has happened to me before either. Um, I am just about to rip apart the set, um, get the brick store sheet ready, and um, I went for the six month average like I always do. Um, and obviously sometimes there's some parts that are just too new, they don't have a price. So then I just change that to the current price value um, because they haven't had a record of six month average, um, six months of sales to actually gain an average. Um, but that's non-existent too. So I double check Bricklink and these minifigures have not made their way to Bricklink yet. No one has parted out the set for whatever reason. There is no price on Bricklink. So I guess... Uh, <laughs> Having a think about it, I'm, I must be the sort of the threshold here for the entire world <laughs> um, on deciding how much these are worth. And I don't know if I can handle that responsibility. Um, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to uh, probably just chuck them up at like five bucks each. And I'm sure in, in future, more educated people than me will, will will make decisions on what they're actually meant to be. But yeah, it's a, it's a first for us, that's for sure. So... Um, we'll get into this and we'll get over that hump, but yeah, it's a it's a funny one Okay, just pottering along and I've done a couple of these um, What were they they were the slide set I'm just about to hit upload on those um, and I've also just put one of these sets into colors uh, The dinosaur is already tucked away. It's already for sale um, but the rest of these pieces are going to get parted um, out into the Bricklink store. So this here is the uh, Cool Funky set, the Friends set. Um, I don't have to actually dictate a price for these Friends minifigures just yet. Um, just because uh, they'll go for sale in our market first off. So um, we'll sort of just put a jimmied up price up there. And hopefully in the next few days um, someone lists this for sale. Um, but yeah. We'll uh, see how we go, but carrying on. Okay, it's um, five o'clock now. Um, it's great. End of the day. 5.01. Um, I've got this last set, um, and I'm probably going to pot it with it. I may get it in, I may not, uh, but it'll be my last act of the day. Um, it's this lunar... Spaceship set, um, or space, space station set. Um, so I'm, I'm going to work on, uh, work through that and get that away. Um, I put that Jurassic set away as well. So I got through a fair chunk of sets today. Might have broken the 2,000 part mark, which is, which is good for a Monday. Um, but yeah, um, I'll get that in and I will call it a day. And then that leaves Philippa all set up because everything that was there um, was for market. This is all our other sort of backlogs that she picks for a market, um, which is cool. So I'll get that in and I will call it a day. Okay, Tuesday. Um, it's just about lunchtime. I'm just uh, doing a quick upload um, of some used minifigure parts. Nothing too fancy in this lot, um, just a whole bunch of parts we got with a lot um, that came in. I think this is the lot a um, couple of weeks ago, I think, so it's been sitting around um, ready for me to put this up. It's been waiting for me to put it in, so... Yeah, do some parts. Can't remember the, the total value. I'm just about to have a look. 58.95. So I'm going to go and condense um, just these parts here. I've got to put them away in the shop. 
um, those there were broken, um, so they're going to go in the um, the seconds bin, um, and I'm going to pop this into the store. We're Tuesday, guys. We're done shipping this morning. That's out there waiting for the courier. Um, this is what the dining room table looks like at the moment. Um, I have done my market. It is printing. Oh, just finished printing. So now I'm going to take it out to the garage this week. Not on the table because we've got Lucas. And Lucas can't keep his fingers to himself. You right there, Willis? Are you going to help me carry everything out? Do you want help? He's watching basketball, so I'm distracting him. Um, <laughs> Which one's just the slide? But yeah, now I'm all finished, so we'll get it in the garage and then I'll show you. Market is done. Got my minifigures, new, and then some used. Some new, and then all my random pieces. Um, yeah, used. There's Mrs. Norris. Um, stick sheets. Stick sheets. Some more used pieces. Um, train tracks. And we didn't even fit. We need to go all the way around here. There's another one around there. Um, I just used some old sticker sheets we had. Or new sticker sheets we had in the book that we had heaps of just to fill up my gap. But yeah, that's my market ready for tomorrow night. So I'll take photos probably tomorrow during the day and go from there. Good morning. Thursday, late start, groceries, but that means I get coffee. Um, I've already done Trade Me, just a couple on Trade Me. Tony's picking Bricklink. Quite a few smally small orders, but every order is welcome. Um, I had to restart the computer because it decided it didn't want to work. Um, oh, it loves doing that to me. But yeah, we've got a um, clean-up job today because I just wander you around. There is shit everywhere. Now, I often don't come down in here. One, two, three, four. I only stay on my side. But... What are you doing on my side? <laughs> Back to you, Tim. <laughs> there is... Shit everywhere. Um, we're just gonna pick the market orders in a minute. We sold how much? Did we sold two hundred thirty dollars out of the market last night. Yeah, it wasn't too bad last night. So that was really good. Um, as you can see, the shit is also venturing onto the table with the three D printers. So this is looking quite empty down here now, as of crap wise. This is Tony's wonderful stock bin. I fucking hate it. Um, so we're gonna have a massive clean up because we've got. Um, a couple of second-hand lots. We got one in yesterday, which I haven't vlogged about, but I need to. And one in this morning that we've just opened and had a quick look at and then sealed back up because we're not going to touch that for a week. Um, yeah. Look at all, there's just shit everywhere. It's beautiful. It's a wonderful mess. It's fucking not. Um, Lucas is here. We've got him till Monday. Um, excuse the messy house because it is fucking atrocious at the moment. But if you want to run out to the dining, this is the lot we got yesterday. Um, I've been through it, pulled out the minifigures, and I have got heaps of um, Collector Series minifigures. Um, two of those bad boys, which is awesome. We got a pristine Bumblebee. I love that guy. But yeah, so heaps of all those are Collector as well. Um, some Star Wars figures too. Yeah, so a really good assortment. Um, we should receive this guy's head today. So we can get him. He's from the other lot. He's from that lot. Um, so as you can see, the morning chop chop. There is just shit everywhere. Um, I can't even think. So we really need to have. We'll do shipping, and then it's going to be. A mess clean up whilst entertaining the toddler. <laughs> Should, be Should be fun. But that's our plans for today. You got anything to add to my little ramble? No, no. Oh, I got my nails done. Very lovely. Because I'm trying wedding dresses on tomorrow. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, come on. You could look a little bit happier about it. 
pretty much my funeral. Oh, <laughs> rude. <laughs> anyway, back to Lego. You got anything to add this morning? No? Nah, just a, we've got a really serious clean up. I think that's pretty much going to be it for the end of the week. Um, we'll pretty much be putting away stuff, reconciling. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Yeah. No, right. no, no uploads really, unless it's stuff that's already sitting out that needs to be put it's away. It's been so sitting well for upload. almost probably a month now, if you look back at the vlogs. Yeah, like this stuff here, it's probably got to go. So, and I don't know if I'll be... Um, I've got I've got a good amount of my wall my used wall over there done. I might um, do the last of the wall, which is round the other side, at the um, over in the other corner of the garage. Um, yeah, we'll just get stuck in and get job after job done, and then hopefully by the end of it all, we uh, we get to somewhere. Yeah. So hopefully by today tomorrow, I will be able to do an after video and show you the clean up process. An organisation which Tony has fucking none of. Yeah, well, you know. Hmm. Yeah. So I'll touch base when we've cleaned up. Hey guys. Um. Friday. At. Oh, take off sorry. Uh, ten seventeen. <laughs> sorry. Sorry. <laughs> um. Big news. You want to tell them? Um. We've done a deal with. Um. Another Bricklink store, um, and we will be buying their entire store. Um, it's someone that has had their store listed for um, quite a few months on Trade Me. Um, so we've we thought I uh, will try it's and been see. Like six months, eh? It's been a while, yeah. yeah. Um, and we'll try and see if we can have a back and forth with them, start a conversation, and see if we can come to a deal um, and, and get something get something working. So. Um, we will be picking up next week a store. Uh, it's got all new parts in it. Um, mm. It's got lots of minifigures. Yeah, the store. Of... Sorry. The ba basically the store. Um, they they decided it was too much work for them, and they took it offline about four years ago. Um, and they've got they had fifty Simpsons houses in there. Um, mm. they've also had um. Uh, nine Ghostbusters um fire stations um. Some Minecraft sets. Uh, the pet house? Uh, got, pet shop? The yeah, big pet shop? Yeah, they've got an extra pet shop. Um, they've, they've got, yeah, some, some really good stuff. Arcane Asylum, I think. Um, mm. So I think all up we've got about 60 odd minifigures because it's quite a lot of bulk. What we have right now is quite a lot of variety and not so much of the bulk. So this will be the bulk and mm. not so much of the variety. So it's about 156,000 parts. Um, I'm going to count it all. Um, so that's going to be a big job. <laughs> Not me. <laughs> um, but next week, primarily the, the focus will be, um, we're leaving here on Monday morning, bright and early, um, and we're going to be heading up to Auckland, and that's where the store's located, so that's about eight or nine hour drive for us. Um, yeah, we're going to drop Lucas off at Kindy and Fielding on the way, because we've got him for a few extra days right now. Yeah. And then we drop him off at Fielding for Kindy, and then carry on up. Yeah, so it's it's a big, big one for us. Yeah. Um, we... Once it's all said and done, and hopefully it's not going to take me too much work, I imagine counting all those pieces is going to take a lot of work, um, but that'll be pretty much next week's focus of, of putting the stores in, probably focusing on listing the minifigures yeah, and getting them for sale. Yeah, photos. Um, and, and yeah, so it should it should put us up over the 300,000 part mark, which is beyond where I thought we'd go this year. I've, I've seen a quarter of a million as a good um, parts count for us to, to get to this year, and we're in August coming into September mm. and we should we should have that 300,000 um, yeah I'm not sure it'll, it'll be interesting to see how it fits in I think there's about 1900 odd lots and that's a lot less than what we have now yeah, like they've we've got, got, they've got heaps of bulk yeah and so I don't know how that's going to fit nicely with with what we've got going on also um, there's a second store um, that has decided to close down um, which is beneficial to us. We went and had a conversation with them. Um, in the end, they decided they wanted to sell the parts out of their store because they weren't going to recoup the money that they would want um, sufficiently, um, I, I would presume. Um, they were going to get more money out of doing that, and we are interested in their drawers because they are just like our Mitre 10 ones mm, that we've exactly got. Um, so they've got, they've got 60 units. Um, 
they're based out in Hawke's Bay. So hopefully, with a bit of luck... You can like go to Auckland and detour out yeah, Hawke's Bay and then come home. Because what that'll do is be able to provide us drawers that are, mm. that are freed up um, and the parts that can go on the drawers. So... Um, yeah, it should help both parties as well. We'll get them for a cheaper price than, than mm. we'd buy them retail, and which we're going to have to anyway, uh, otherwise. Um, so, yeah, we'll see how it lines up. Um, but, yeah, so that's that's our big yeah, picture. That's why um, we um, cleaned up the store a bit yesterday, cleaned up the garage and made Tony put shit away, and he yeah. still hasn't finished. But Yeah, I've been working with this, um, this guy to organise the deal for the past week and, and trying to make something work that both parties are happy mm. with. Um, and it seems like both parties are pretty happy. Um, we're, we're happy with what, what that yeah. means. Um, I've got rallies. We've got rallies in Auckland, so we'll just be staying with them. And they live 20 minutes away from the sky. So. Yeah. And it also means we get to go to the Lego store in Auckland, the actual, like, Lego store. So yeah. I get to go build my own minifigure, which I'm really excited about. Yeah, really so excited about. Next week's content is going to be very different to what uh, we yeah. usually put up. It's just going to be pretty much what our week looks like with that giant adventure. I imagine... Huge. Outside of actually uploading the store, um, maybe some yeah. re. Uh, hopefully, we get those new drawers, so we're going to be um, doing uh, labels and stuff like that. And there's mm. going to be a bit more clean up, but it's going to be pretty hectic. So it's going to be yeah. very... leaving the two teenagers at home. Yeah, let's hope we come home to a house. <laughs> but yeah, so it's, it, all in all, it puts us, I think, at about top five in New Zealand. Just shy of the top five or inside the top five in terms of store size in New Zealand. So that's a very big milestone uh, to be achieving. So it's huge. We're pretty happy. Yeah. Cool. Right. Well, that's, today. Yeah, well, pretty much, I think I think we'll leave the vlog there. Yeah, I, we've I, done shipping. Yeah. Um, Pub's got some stuff she's got to do today. I'm trying on wedding dresses today. Yeah. So exciting for her. <laughs> um, so I'm going to leave Lucas with Tony. And hope I come home to both of them still alive. Yeah, he won't be alive. Be. I'll drag him around. <laughs> but yeah, um, yeah, so we'll see you next week. Yeah. See you.